Hi, good morning. Okay, I'm going to teach you a few more finds for around the house. I forgot to teach you one room, um, and it's an important one. <laughs> Bathroom, bathroom. It's a T, like toilet, and you shake it a little bit like this, like it's an emergency. Because <laughs> sometimes it's an emergency. You need that bathroom. Bathroom. Clothes. 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 I'm going to teach you some animal signs because we have pets, right? Sometimes in the house. <clears throat> Animal and pet, like you're petting it. Dog, D-O-G. You can snap your fingers. Kids, if you cannot snap, don't worry about it. A deaf person can't hear the snap anyway. But watch, when you snap, you sign D, O, and G really fast. Dog. Pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> Dog. Cat. It's like the whiskers. Cat. It can be one hand. You can have this up if you want or not. Cat. One hand or two. Snake. Starts at your tongue. Your V bends like that. And comes out like this. Snake, snake. Lizard for my little first grade friend who has one. Take your L for lizard and you move it, wiggle it like that around, like kind of like they walk or slither. Mouse, mouse. Like their nose twitches. Mouse. Game. Game. You're going up against another person, I guess. Game. Uh, video games. You would sign game and then like you're playing with the controller. Game. So now you can sign you want to play a game or game you want. All right, dance. Remember how I taught sit was sitting down like these were your legs? Dance is the same way. You just make your legs dance. So this would be stand up, sit down, lie down, you're lying down, dance. dance. Outside. Outside. It goes like this. Outside. Outside. Window. It's like you're opening a window. Window. Door. Same thing, opening a door. <clears throat> Plate. Plate. It's just the shape of a plate. We're going to use one finger because it's usually flat. And most plates are round, so plate. Cup. You're going to set it on something level, right? So your non dominant hand is going to be palm up. Your cup is like with a C, showing the shape, and you bring it up. Fork, it's your V hand, or V, and it's going to stab your other one, like you're stabbing something with a fork, fork. Spoon, you take your U, and you're going to scoop it, scoop it up, like you, like you use a spoon. Knife. You take two U's and you go over like this with one. 
like you're sharpening a knife. Book. Your hands look like the book that's closed and it's opening. Book. 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 Read. Here's your book, right? So your non-dominant hand is going to be your book. And you're going to read. These are your eyes, looking at it. Read. And um, you can play with this sign, too. Um, sometimes we don't read word for word like this, line for line. Sometimes we skim over it. Read. Read. Um, so you might see that, too. Read. Read. All right, those are the signs I have for you today. Kids, I want to tell you a message about um, a little secret about your parents. Do you guys remember, maybe it was not too long ago, maybe it was a long time ago, when you were asked to do something or made to do some work or something that you were not, um, you didn't know it yet? And it made you a little frustrated and maybe you acted out maybe you wanted to scream maybe you cried maybe you just didn't feel like you were ready for this um i think your parents are going through that right now we're all in this weird setting right we are all stuck at home we can't go places we can't go to the park and see our friends we can't do this and it's frustrating for us but it's also frustrating for our parents because they've never had that happen either. So I want you guys to remember that this is new for them too. And they might have that same, those same feelings when they weren't sure what, like when you were not sure what to do or didn't know if you could handle this, your parents might be feeling the same way. So show them some love and um, be their cheerleader and, use this time to spend together and um, a lot of your parents worked now they're at home sometimes some of them are working from home some of them are still having to go out to work but we can t take the time that we have now that we're stuck at home anyway and help each other out okay and forgive say somebody say mom and dad yelled at you Forgive them because sometimes you've yelled at people too, right? When you felt frustrated. Help them with those frustrations. You can do it. I know you can. I will see you tomorrow.